ओके दी फर्स्ट यूनिट इज दी फंडामेंटल ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस यूनिट मीन्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस फर्स्ट fundamentals of computer means the basics of a computer system in this unit we are going to study about the basics of any computer system and then gradually we are going to move forward with the complete course okay so let's start with the introduction first of all introduction to computer the increased use of information technology in our life has resulted in a new and improved way of thinking living and working that's true as the information technology is increasing in our daily life our thinking our way of living and our way of working is changing according to the technology that is true the more we are using the latest technologies nowadays our living lifestyle is changing accordingly and further if you read on this slide it says earlier computer were used mostly by scientists and engineers for complex calculation and operation and they were very costly yeah the earlier computers which were used basically by the scientists or the engineers were far more expensive than the ones we are using nowadays okay and nowadays a computer has become affordable and within the reach of most people it has virtually turned out to be a necessity in banks hospitals railways shopping complexes school colleges homes etc so this thing is also true that the use of computer nowadays is becoming a necessity why because we have to store data like for example in banks why do we need a computer system in a bank so that we can store all the information of the customer in the computer system it would be very difficult to manage every data of each and every customer manually in a piece of paper or in a notebook or any sort of diary so to make that thing easy computers are used in banks similarly in hospitals to store all the data all the information of a patient computer is used in railways for generating tickets to keeping track of each and every uh, train that are moving and also to keep all the data which is available in the uh, railways for the customers or the tickets or the office staff all the data is stored in the computer system only then comes the shopping complex yeah in shopping complexes also you are seeing computer nowadays okay they use the barcode scanner and they have this system in which they feed all the information get the price and get the bill accordingly and then they hand over the stuff to you so in shopping complexes also the computers are used in schools you must be knowing that your school must be having computers so that you can practice on them and can make your own projects and all in colleges also and in home to do all the stuff in your home also so that you can access internet you can search for your projects or you can design something or you can uh, play games on that okay so it would be very appropriate to say that life without a computer is very hard to imagine nowadays because computer has become a necessity 
okay this is something which is very important nowadays and that's why it is said that computers are becoming important day by day and it is a necessity now so now we have studied about the introduction part of a computer system now we are going to study what exactly a computer is the word computer is derived from compute which means to calculate okay compute the word compute means to do calculation or to calculate a computer is an electronic device that can perform a variety of tasks by executing a given set of instruction what does that mean see a computer is a system which is an electronic device why because it works when electricity is provided to it when power is provided to computer system then only it turns on so this is the reason a computer is said to be an electronic device and also it is a device that can perform variety of tasks yes this is true computer is basically a device which is used to perform various tasks it can do calculations it can do designing gaming audio music lots of things you can even watch movies in it but these tasks are performed only when a set of instruction is provided to it okay what does that mean computer doesn't work on its own user have to instruct to the computer to perform the task and how do we do that by using a keyboard and mouse suppose we want to hear music hear a song so what we have to do is we have to use a mouse go to the particular song click on it and then it plays so these were the set of instruction that we have provided to the computer system that is the reason it is said a computer is an electronic device that can perform variety of tasks by executing a given set of instructions if the instruction is not provided to the computer computer can't work okay so it is important to provide the instructions to the computer then only it can perform the task okay next it is versatile and can handle multiple tasks like documentation accounting budgeting designing entertaining imparting education airline railways and other bookings and weather forecasting also okay see computer is something that can be used to handle multiple tasks that means so many tasks okay we can create documents we can type our text in it also we can do accounting we can do calculations in computer system budgeting can be done okay design we can create beautiful designs okay we uh, know how to use paint brush okay so with the paint brush software we can create design there are some more software as well like photoshop illustrator and all which are used for designing for entertaining we can record videos okay or we can play movies in it okay imparting education imparting education as you can see nowadays we are teaching you online so this is all done through computer system if we are recording our videos through mobile that is also something similar to a computer system your mobile phone nowadays works very much similar to a computer system okay for airline for railways as i have discussed earlier to generate tickets so computers are used there also 
for bookings okay and for weather forecasting you can get weather info in your computer system or in your mobile phones so this is something computer can handle multiple tasks so um, computer is so said as it is versatile and can have handle multiple tasks like documentation accounting budgeting and so on now comes the full form of computer which is common oriented machine particularly used for trade and education research okay the word computer stands for common oriented machine particularly used for trade and education research okay you have to memorize it now let's see what we have further in these slides okay now we have the computer diagram in front of us okay now uh, if you can see there are various components of computer which has been shown in this diagram the first uh, component that we are going to discuss now is the monitor the blue screen which is there is the monitor which says it displays information on the screen so computer is basically the screen which is used to display the data or the information onto the computer screen the next important component is the case which is also called as cpu okay this contains the brain of your computer the cpu is basically the brain of your computer that processes information including the central processing unit and other parts so whatever information that you are providing to the computer is being processed by the cpu that is the reason it is called as the brain of your computer okay and also cpu stands for central processing unit it is the center of all the processes that is being carried out in a computer system the next uh, important component is the mouse so it is a handheld device that is used for moving a cursor around the screen obviously you all know a computer mouse is used to uh, move the cursor all around the computer screen so that you can click on to some particular icon or you can open some folder or you can move the cursor anywhere in the document okay so for that mouse is used the next component is the keyboard a device for typing letters numbers and symbol into the computer a computer keyboard is used to type the letter text number or symbol onto your computer system basically it is used for typing the information then comes the printer printer is used to get the print outs it puts text and images from the computer onto the paper yes you get the print out from the printer okay all you have to do is give computer the command of print and you get the print out on the paper then comes the modem or router it is basically used to send a network signal to the computer used to connect many computer to the network or the internet so basically why do we use the modem or the router is basically to get the network or to send a network signal to the computer and also it is used to connect various computers to the network or to the internet so now in your computer system you know what all components are there okay you know there is a monitor there is a cpu keyboard mouse printer modem okay i want you to draw this diagram in your 
file now okay and you should know what particular component is all about what is the function of the particular component okay now we have the block diagram of a computer system see before actually discussing this diagram let me tell you what is a block diagram and how it is different from a regular diagram that which we draw see block diagram is something very similar to a flow chart okay it tells you about the flow of all the components or all the units and it is used or it is drawn using rectangular or square boxes that is the reason it is called as the block diagram and if you can see in the diagram over here we have used various rectangular boxes in which we have written the name of the component and the uh, boxes are connected through the connectors the arrows which tells about the flow of the information in various blocks or the components of a computer system that is the reason it is called as the block diagram and if you uh, remember in the previous diagram which i have shown about the computer system i have shown you all the components okay it wasn't a block diagram but this one is drawn using the rectangular boxes that is the reason it is called as a block diagram and over here you have got your main memory at the center your alu that is your arithmetic and logic unit control section that is the control unit input and output and auxiliary storage so this is the block diagram of a computer system which is very important okay so now when you are in your ninth standard i should uh, not hear this from any student that they doesn't know the difference between a regular diagram or a block diagram you must know what a flow chart is you must know what a block diagram is all about okay so now as you have drawn the uh, computer diagram in your copies i want you to draw this block diagram of the computer as well and in the further class i'm going to discuss all this component and also some more topics about the computer like the characteristics of the computer which is very important so now draw these diagram and also i'll be providing you some questions regarding these topics that we have discussed today so you have to go through those questions find the answer from these slides from this video and write it in your copy okay so do this and i'll see you in the next lecture